Uh, Chief, tell me about last night's uh, incident with this uh, methagosine. Last night, uh, one of my officers, uh, Officer Santiago's uh, criminal interdiction unit, was working uh, traffic and radar enforcement, uh, looking for drug traffickers and human traffickers on 59 northbound. Uh, when a, he observed a vehicle operating, uh, going down the freeway with no headlights. So uh, naturally attracting his attention, he activated his emergency lights, stopped the vehicle. Upon his approach to the vehicle, he immediately smelled marijuana uh, within just five or 10 feet from the vehicle. It was so strong. As he approached the vehicle, he asked the operator, identified himself, reason for the stop, no headlights, told him the operator needs to step from the vehicle. Operator said he wasn't going to comply. The officer gave him numerous uh, off, uh, orders to step from the vehicle. Uh, he continued to refuse to uh, comply, so a secondary unit was sent as backup and pulled in front of the suspect vehicle and blocked him in to where he couldn't evade or flee from us. Uh, they continued to try to get voluntary compliance from the suspect. He continued to uh, be very uh, rude, abruptive to the officers, not complying. Uh, the officers at, at one point in time finally decided to make forced entry into the window, uh, through the window, broke, uh, breaking the window and extracting the subject out of the vehicle. And uh, upon doing that uh, and searching the vehicle, he was taken in custody for resisting. Uh, they started searching the vehicle. As they searched the vehicle, we ended up finding 22 cases of promethazine. Uh, which has a street value of approximately $186,000. Uh, that is an extreme amount. There's like 24 bottles to the case, and uh, the car was literally filled, the trunk was filled with it, the back seat had quite a bit of it uh, in there as well. So the district attorney's office was contacted. He was arrested for resisting, for uh, possession of dangerous drugs, and um, possibly intent to deliver. And we're currently following up on the case because it was such an extreme amount of uh, promethazine. Uh, obviously, he's dealing, so we're uh, currently doing reviews of LPR cameras uh, throughout the state of Texas up to Tennessee, which is where he was from or headed back to. And uh, we feel confident he's probably involved in a lot of other things. You know, review of his Facebook page uh, showed quite a bit of uh, drug activity on himself openly, smoking marijuana, uh, flashing a lot of cash, assault weapons, handguns. So we feel he's probably involved in quite a bit of criminal activity at this point. So the but investigation's ongoing. I haven't been caught. Nothing in that, no, had no priors or anything else on them. No, absolutely amazing. No priors up to this point. Uh, so we're currently still digging into this history and uh, we're going to make DEA and some of the federal agencies aware of what uh, he was found in possession of uh, to see if maybe possibly they're, they're doing some additional casework on some, something that we don't know about yet. All right.